Howdy, howdy. So many of you probably remember the case of the granulomatous abscess on the neck of that big bull. Yeah, so that's probably Tuparella is the organism. Uh, it starts out in the mouth and then par apparently um, seeds out hematogenously, goes through the bloodstream, and they often sit up in the neck like that. Yeah, I've seen it a couple times, but that one was pretty nasty. So yeah, chronic draining, multi-lobulated abscess, what you call a granulomatous abscess, kind of like a honeycomb of all these little pus pockets. So honeycomb, but instead of full of honey, it's full of pus. And um, yeah, and uh, just a chronic non-healing wound. And uh, yeah, the location's pretty in a uh, pretty bit of a bummer. So it was right there, uh, right there in his dewlap. So you got you know, a jugular and a carotid on both sides. And then uh, he's got, you know, his trachea and his esophagus there. And the last thing we want to do is compromise those. So I was like, how are we going to handle this? So um, yeah, use a calicrate bander. Um, pretty handy tool uh, designed for castrating big heavy bulls. Um, yeah, place that around the, that granulomatous abscess, which was pretty difficult. You know, it's pretty pretty multi-lobulated. We got that around it, put another band around it for uh, for extra, you know, to be sure, to be sure. Same reason why the Irishmen wear two condoms. To be sure, to be sure, mate. Ah, oh, to be sure, to be sure. Anyhow, bang that on it. And then, um, yeah, gave him some anti-inflammatories, antibiotics, and then um, asked the producer to keep an eye on it for us. So he sent me another video, which I'm getting ready to show you in a minute. That was, um, we, we uh, put those bands on on the 25th of August. So this is a little bit under a month later. You can see that what's happened is the, the mass, which was intramural before, like a big lump on the outside of the neck of this bully. Um, by now it's, it's shriveled down, kind of like a head of a mushroom. And so you'll see in this next video that it's uh, starting to resolve. He's out in the paddock working with the ladies, you know, doing what he's supposed to do as a bull. Uh, doesn't seem too bothered by the by the the um, by the band working on that uh, granulomatous abscess. So we'll show you that, and then uh, and then I've got some other photos here, some videos that Matt sent me from the 10th of October. So um, look, we'll uh, we'll splice to the video, and then we'll uh, we'll go out and see what we can see. John, John Calicrate being the guy that designed this called the brains of the outfit. <laughs> Ring 
see it in there neatly and start ratcheting. Just go real slow, okay? Ratchet. Now as this constricts down, it'll start grossing all this nasty tissue and it should pull the skin together and then it drops off. This will be in the paddock and then we're on a winner. Because he's a little bit self-conscious, you know, he goes up to cows and they're like, bugger off night. I'm not going to chin rest with that on you. Every now and again, just pull it. These are awesome for cutting out ear tags as well. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll give them some antibiotics and some anti-inflammatories, and that hopefully what that's going to do is just necrose down and drop off. That's sick. Hey, that's cool. Can I have high fives? High fives all right. Fun, you guys. You all ready? So that was a recap of us placing the band. So refresh your memory, and now we're going to cut to. Uh, so it's the 25th of August. And this is the 22nd of September when uh, Matt went out in the paddock where Old Mate was working with the ladies. And um, yeah, he's out there quite happily doing his business. And as you can see, it's starting to work, but that mass hasn't fallen off yet. So let's go. Let's cut to the camera. So now this is the 10th of October. Uh, Matt sent us through another video, and as you can see, that mass has fallen off. So it's somewhere out there in the paddock, a little bit of rubber as well. And uh, yeah, so pretty cool. Pretty, um, I wouldn't say it's a novel way of doing it, but it works pretty pretty dang well, those calicrate banders um, for, um, for abnormal masses like that. Um, and uh, that would have been a pretty painful abscess um, for him with all those chronic graining tracks, putting that uh, ring on there, you know, kind of like having an end of your finger would have... Uh, uh, deaden the sensation of that actual abscess itself and uh, there would have been some some probably pain from the twisting of the of the uh, skin where the band was going on it but but look he certainly didn't seem to be too bothered by that so I reckon it was a it was a good outcome and I reckon it was a good ethical way to manage this fella actually a lot, lot better than trying to get in there on a contaminated wound like that with a scalpel and with all those things with names you know jugulars carotids esophagus trachea you name it this worked out well Winning, winning. <laughs> Cheers, guys. You asked for me to give you a recap. You got your recap. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.